Hey, what's going on, food surfers? I'm Eric Surf6. Welcome to Eric Mealtime. And in today's episode, we're going to be eating Canadian food. That's right, they import their own pork right here. Comes all the way from Winnipeg. Let's go check it out. They've got three different craft beers here to choose from. I think I'm definitely going with the Trash Panda. Yep, I'm feeling trashy. It smells fabulous. Look at that beautiful color. Goldilocks Blonde. Oh yeah, cheers to you guys. Craft beer, it's pretty rare to find craft beer in Japan. Actually, it's not that rare, but it's expensive, so I typically don't buy it. It's on the level, for sure. Yeah, good stuff. Next up, we gotta have some Canada Dry Ginger Ale by Coca-Cola. Has nothing to do with Canada. Sorry, Canada. Wow, that's amazing. I like this better than the beer. Way to go, Canada. I mean, Coca-Cola. That is delicious, very thirst quenching. Yeah, blows this out of the water. Yeah. Panda, you just got beat by Canada Dry. So the name of the pork company that they import from is called High Life Pork, and their slogan is making an ordinary day sticky a sticky day that means a really cool day and their pork comes from manitoba canada beautiful photo here but i don't see any animal products whatsoever i think i would have chose the photo of maybe the pigs somewhere i found one of the pigs oh it's so cute oh isn't that just adorable look at that baby pig Oh, cute overload right there. You know this place means business when they've got their own menu cards for each item on the menu. Yep, so the first thing we've got here is this right here, the dried rib. Look at that, it's gorgeous. But this looks 10 times, the real thing looks 10 times more gorgeous. And the recipe's right there on the back, so you can take this home and make it at home. Great, huh? They've also got a recipe for homemade sausage. Look at that. And look, this is their specialty, pulled pork. That's gonna be coming up. Look how fabulous looking that looks. You need two forks to eat it with. Yeah. Pork rib time, here we go. This is the dry pork right here. We'll do this one first. Give it the test. How easy does it slide off the bone? Pretty easy. Yep. Going in. <laughs> oh, it's tender. Oh, very simple taste, just salt and pepper. Oh, it's good. Next up is the buffalo sauce, I believe. So a spicy type of rub. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
kind of sweet and sour. He said it's got Tabasco in it, but I'm tasting more sweet. Not a whole lot of Tabasco, just a dab. It's interesting. It's kind of sweet, like it's got honey or something. Maple syrup, perhaps, huh? Could be. Definitely tasty. And it's a good thing I got this bib on, look. That would went right onto my pants. Next up is the Chinese style one. This looks delightful because it's got toppings on it. Oh yeah. It's going from this side, there's more meat over here. Oh yeah. What is that, ginger, sesame seeds? Oh, it's good. It's got a light dressing on it, oil. Bit of a vinegar taste. Oh, I think I like this one the best. Welcome to the cheese platter. What have we got here? Figs on top. And this is called Piccolina cheese right here. Blue cheese there and camembert there. What are we starting with? We'll start with the mellow, the common bird. Very mellow, creamy, basic cheese. It's very popular in Japan. In Canada? I don't know, let me know. Is it popular? Mm -hmm. Very creamy, not much taste. Nice to eat it with the fig. Mm -hmm. Let's try the pecolina next with the fig. Figs are nice and fresh. Oh, it's a very sharp cheese. Very similar to a Parmesan cheese. Yeah, it tastes very similar. Yep. And my favorite, the blue cheese. I absolutely love blue cheese. And then, because I don't get a chance to eat it very often. Yeah, going double. And it looks like it's got some honey or something on it. Honey could be maple syrup. We do have maple syrup on the table. Look at that. Maple syrup on the table. You can use as toppings for things. Isn't that nice? Nice touch. I'll let you know if it's maple syrup or not. Mm. Oh, blue cheese. I used to hate it because it's just so pungent, but now. I think that's olive oil, that's what it is, yeah. Let's do some maple syrup on a, on a piece of that. I think my fingers are a bit oily from the ribs. God, I feel like such a sissy. Never let a man do a woman's job. Look at this, she has got it. Bare hands, oh, nicely done. Thank you. Thank you. I think I need to start working out a little bit, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna put that on the uh, to-do list for 2021. Eh? So where were we before I got so embarrassed that I could not open that and she had to come do it for me? She was all of what, 85 pounds? Oh yeah. Maple syrup on top of blue cheese with the fig and let's throw in some common bird and some of this stuff too there we go all right canadian style oh yeah get some this is how canadians eat cheese hey eh? oh Tastes like a dessert. Oh my goodness. I should have saved that for later. Oh wow. That is fabulous. So good. I think it goes with the common burnt best. Yeah, that is really something. This is an amazing cheese platter. And did you guys notice that it's served on a pig? The pig is the slab, right? Isn't that beautiful? 
Why did I take this off after the ribs? I needed it more for the maple syrup. Oh my gosh. But while we're, while we're looking at my shirt, you guys, this is actually available in my merch shop. I just got it last night from Teespring. Yep, it arrived in the mail. I'm so happy about these shirts. They've been flying off the shelves. If you're interested in one of these babies, definitely check it out. Maple syrup not included. Yeah, get some. There'll be a link right out there. Next up, Food Surfers is a Canadian smoked salmon salad. It looks fabulous. Check this out. Yes. The real smoked salmon. Yeah. Authentic smoked salmon. I've always wanted to try this. The real deal salmon. Yep. Oh, yes. Looking fab. Does it need to hit a lemon? Yes, it does. Yeah. I'll tell you what needs to hit a lemon. My t-shirt. Oh, yeah. Check out this topping right here. This is authentic Canadian wild rice. Look at that. We imported from Canada right there. Long grain rice. Wild rice, they're calling it. Yeah. Let's go in for a giant bite, shall we? Oh my goodness. This is some really tasty salmon. It's juicy, it tastes more like meat. It's in a light vinegar, but oh my goodness, and it's, it's smoked just about right. It's not too overpowering, like sometimes smoked salmon can be. Mm. Check this out right here. This is the reason that I came to this restaurant. This is my first time trying poutine. But it looks dessert-like, does it not? This looks more like a dessert than a potato dish. Yeah, and this big glob right here is sour cream, there's red wine mixed with honey, and some other goodies that I forgot. What is poutine exactly? It's french fries with cheese curd, right? So the cheese is there. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's just eat. Here we go. Going in for the poutine. First try ever in my life. Hmm. Hmm. Tastes like a mouthful of sour cream and honey mixed together with potatoes, with, with french fries. It's, it tastes more like a dessert to me than french fries. It's too sweet. I thought it would be more cheesy, cheese curd. Not tasting, I'm tasting 100% sour cream. I don't know, is that the way you Canadians do it? Is, it? is that all right to just have sour cream on it? I mean, there might have been a little bit of just like Parmesan cheese sprinkled on top, but it's mainly sour cream with red wine and the honey or maple syrup. I think what I'd like to do is try poutine from another restaurant, yeah. Poutine is a dish of french fries and cheese curd topped with a brown gravy. Where's the cheese curds? Where's the brown gravy? I'm not seeing any of that. Is this okay, Canadian people? Next up is the ahijo, shrimp ahijo. Look at those giant prawns in there. Looking good. Yeah, we've got some mushrooms in here, some bacon. Look at that Canadian bacon, folks. Yes. Some olives, and it's, of course, in a thick sauce. Yes, this is one of my favorite dishes. Very popular in Japan. Yes. Should we use the big serving spoon? Yes, we shall. Go for the big guy in the middle with the head on. Will he come out of here in one piece? 
Yes, he will. Complete with olive, olives. That looks pretty good. Let's get some of that bacon. You're baking me crazy, Ahijo. Yes. Okay. Let's start with the bacon, shall we? Bacon and olives. The olives we got pits. Just the bacon. Let's keep it pure. Bacon and olive oil. Some thick bacon. That was delicious. Let's get some prawn action. We're going no tail. Try some mushrooms here. That ah, looks pretty good. The shrimp is very tough, a bit on the overcooked side, but that's okay. Better than undercooked. Can't forget the mushrooms. The mushrooms are the best part of this dish. No kidding. These are some fabulous mushrooms. Two, three different types. Goes really well with the olive oil. Say, would you guys like to see a magic trick? No. Okay, forget it then. <laughs> I heard a few of you say no. Is there more yeses than no's? More yeses than no's? Huh? Huh? The no's no's. Yeah. So I've got my world famous change purse here that I got from a vending machine. That video is coming out soon. Yep. And last night I packed it with something very special. I what it was, what was it? Oh yeah, four dice. That's right, this is a numbers trick. So I'm gonna uh, roll these and get a random number. So let's call it uh, five, six, one, one. That's a good number. Five, six, one, one, and then write that down. Okay, and now I am going to make a quick prediction. Just a moment. Okay, I'm making my prediction. I'm reading your minds right now. Yep. I'm reading all of your minds. <laughs> That's how it works. And I'm gonna fold this up and we're gonna place this right here in the front in plain view. That's gonna stay here for the rest of the video. It's never gonna leave the frame of the camera, I promise. Okay, so going back to the number here. Five, six, one, one. Let's get another random number and mix this up even more. Another four digit random number. So three, four, six, three. That's number two, random number two. So three, four, six, three. And now I'm gonna add my own random number. I'm gonna teach you guys my Ancho Bungo, which means my pin number. And that if you find my ATM card, you know what to do. Withdraw all the cash, all that YouTube cash and t-shirt cash. <laughs> My secret number is 6566. Six. It's got a lot of sixes in it because I am the Eric Surf 6. Yes, I am. And we are going to add these together. You know what? Three sixes is bad luck. I think I'm going to change this. I'm going to change this to a three. Yeah, we, we don't want bad luck. Okay, and now we're going to add these up. There's a zero. There's another zero. Carry the one that's a uh, 16. Carry the one that's 15. Is that right? No, we needed to carry the one here as well too. So we got 15,610. That is the sloppiest magic trick I have ever seen. 16, 15,610. I'm not feeling very confident right now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wish me luck, you guys. Oh.
Please, please, we're out of paper. 15,610, close enough, close enough. Yeah, close enough for government work. Yeah, I will drink to that. Yeah. Whew. Oh, man. Oh, did we get some? Oh. Oh. Next up is the main event. This is grilled shoulder spare ribs right here. And it's got a mustard and maple syrup on it with some nice little what herbs and spices on top as well too it looks absolutely fabulous let me give it the spin yeah look at that that's a lot of meat right there yeah definitely knife and fork action here and knife and finger oh look at that it just comes right off the bone Yeah, there's some lovely looking meat. Oh wow. Mm. It's nice and crispy on the outside. It's got that kind of, what is it, like that pulled pork feeling. It's very, very soft. Nice, good balance between the fat and the meat. Look at that, that's what I'm talking about. There's the fat right there. That's a fatty piece. Let's get it in the sauce. Oh, oh delectable. Wow. That is something else. Let's get some of the skin right here. Look at that charred skin. That looks fab. Mm. Perfection, what can I say? Spare ribs hit their best right here. Oh, way to go Canada. This is an exciting dish here. They're calling it Canadian soul food. What can it be? What could it be? Comments? What do you guys think? To me, it looks like an apple pie, like the most amazing apple pie ever, but it is not. This is macaroni and cheese. Yes, I was kind of hoping for apple pie. Let's check it out. Macaroni and cheese. Okay. I see. It's interesting. Interesting. Guess we're going in for a big bite. Get a lot of cheese on that first bite. Let's go in a little deeper. See if we can find some more cheese. Here we go. So we got some cheddar cheese happening over on this side. But it's a it's a gratin is what it is. So it's the macaroni and gratin together. A couple different kinds of cheese. I'm seeing a white cheese too. Lovely textures going on. It's cooked really just right. It's very nice. It could use a little spice or maybe just a little bit of hot sauce or something. It's pretty bland, but I'm liking it. I get the soul food meaning of this. They definitely nailed it. Like home cooking for sure. I mean, it's in a cast iron dish. I mean, God, you gotta love that. Mm-hmm. Yep. A little bit of Tabasco and this would be perfect. Right, it's almost there. Yeah, but that's just me. I like spicy. Check it out, guys. The pulled pork has arrived. This is a special Canadian style pulled pork. Yeah, because you gotta pull it apart with two forks at your own table. That's what you do. So let's make this happen. Let's pull it. Oh, yeah. Gotta pull it. Look at how it's just falling apart.
Oh, this is gorgeous. Best day of my life. I'm pulling park, everybody. Look at that. Look at that right there. There's the money shot. Look at that. Oh, goodness. This video is getting better and better. Oh, look at that meat. Yep, pulled to perfection. Yes, look at that. What do you call that? Striations? Oh, goodness. This pulled pork is definitely ripped. Yeah, it looks like somebody's bicep. Look at that. All right, and what we are going to do is make a sandwich. Yes, we're gonna build a sandwich. Pulled pork sandwich, DIY. DIY at the restaurant. Yep, first we'll dress it up with some of this sauce. He told me the sauce was pretty sweet. I'm okay with that. Yep. And we've got some carrots here. Beautiful colors, huh? The carrots and the purple cabbage. Looking nice. Oh yeah. There it goes. That's looking pretty good, huh? Okay. Let's go vegetarian, shall we? Forget the pulled pork. Let's go vegetarian, huh? No? No, no way. That's looking pretty good. Let's get a little bit more meat on there, shall we? Yes, we shall. Canadian style pulled pork sandwich, everybody. Yep. Definitely gonna top it off with some sauce. Alrighty, have we created the perfect pulled pork sandwich? I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Will it even hold together? Look at that, how juicy that is. Oh goodness. Juice is flowing out. Alrighty. Going in. Could use a little bit of mayo. Just kidding, no mayonnaise. It's fine, just like it is. Oh my. It's pretty delicious. Yes, it is. Mm. I think the best part of the sandwich is the bread. It's a really nice bread. And the pulled pork is perfect. This is a pig latte right here. Check it out, can you see the pig? Can you make it out, right? There's the snout right there. Yep, and then this is the tail right there, the little curly tail in the back. It's almost perfect. What do you guys think? It's definitely some nice craftsmanship there. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. And this right here is the dessert. Yes, this is a rhubarb crumble tart, and it's got gelato on top, which is, I don't know what gelato is. A fancy word for ice cream? I'll let you know. I will let you know. I wanna go heavy rhubarb. I used to eat a lot of rhubarb when I was a kid. My mom used to prepare it, so. It's, oh, it's pretty solid. Solid meaning it's tough. You know, rhubarb. I remember it being more red when I was a kid. Anyway. <laughs> The rhubarb is definitely on point. As for the tart, meh. Not really feeling the tart. How about the gelato? Tastes exactly like vanilla ice cream, but it's gelato. Let's try the ice cream, oh, I'm sorry, the gelato and the tart together and these croutons. There we go.
โอ้ผมเอสต์ปาร์ต This is the crunch part right here. I take it back. The tart is wonderful. You just got to eat it with the crunchy part too. It tastes like a cookie dough. This is how you do it. Yeah, we got to have these together. It's just like a cookie. Nice and crunchy cookie. Mmm. Oh, yeah. This is definitely a poppin' dessert. Yep. Okay, I can stop eating it. This is it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's have a sip of the pig latte. It's been a long time since I've had a latte. Forgot how good it is. I always drink my coffee black. So nice little change. So on my rating scale between one and six, Eric has. What are we gonna do for Canadian cuisine? I felt like it was pretty authentic, being the American that I am. It's definitely different from American cuisine. Yeah, even though we're neighbors. So I'm gonna use the magical coin purse here to do the rating. And did I mention that I got this from a vending machine? <laughs> yeah, you bet I did. Here we go. And the rating on a one to six, Eric has, is going to be. A two. You know what? It's a little bit more than a two. We're gonna roll again and we're gonna add to the two and see what we get. Two and three. That's exactly what it is. I was thinking a nom nom. Yep, it's not quite a nom nom nom, but it's a nom nom, which is five out of six. So just a second here. I'm gonna make a quick correction. Make a quick correction. It's a nom nom which is five, not six. So there it was, it's a gnome gnome. I wanna thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please slap a like on it. And as always, I look forward to reading your comments. We shall see you in the next one. Eric out. Hey, thanks for making it all the way to my end screen. So now what? Well, click around, watch a few more videos. How about checking out my Patreon account? Links are all right there on the screen. Cheers and beers, team. Get some.